been your most accomplished moment as a pastor? I mean, maybe it could have been, you know, a degree or maybe seeing your kids walk across the stage or, you know, buying your first house. But what has been your most accomplished moment? as a pastor. Maybe it didn't even include you. Maybe it was something that a family member did, but what has been that moment for you? For me, let me first start, I think it would be, uh, you know, when I got my ordination and when I got my bachelor's degree in theology, you know, cause those things you have to work at. You know, I had dropped out of college some years ago. You know, I was a troubled college student, you know, and dropped the ball early. And it was almost like a 10 year span before I even went into an organized, you know, a structured, you know, teaching facility or whatever, accredited school. And I, and I, and I, and it was like, a, it was a lot of fear in it, man. I don't know if I'm gonna do well or whatever. But when I crossed those hurdles and then I began to get those, those, you know, certificates and degrees, you know, and that ordination status, you know, you know, going through those four years, you know, with the theology, going through the four years with the ordination, because it takes us about four to six years to get the ordination. And and I had walked through that, and the Lord has blessed me to endure. And uh, I did well, and it just get through it, but I came out, you know, you know, real well. So it encouraged me to go on, but I would say that would be the, one of those moments where I was, wow, thank you. You know, if anybody looked at my past, but never thought that, uh, you know, Greg, Ford, you know, yeah. yeah, come on. No man, the God's man. Well, of course. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Pastor Andre. Well, uh, what am I? I have so many. Um, Give what? a close reaction. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I would when I see my kids grow up to be respectful kids. I didn't have to worry about going to the, you know, jailhouse or where they were strung out in the street. Um, that was one thing that I had um, put in my mind that I was going to raise my kids in the fear of God. And I think that um, that was one one big something, you know. And you know, a lot of people say. You weren't gonna be this or you weren't gonna be that, but you know, God showed different. And, and that within me, mm -hmm. you know, that was something I felt like that I accomplished, you know. But that that's mainly, you know, I went to school, I went, oh, God bless me. Get a, I, you know, I ain't got my bachelor's and all like that for it, but you know. I got Jesus all you get them. I got Jesus all So I went to school and uh, I got my certificate. And, and other things, but I'm just, I'm just, I accomplished so much. Um, my kids are my one of my biggest accomplishments. So, you know, and just, just being a blessing to God's people. Mm -hmm. Amen. Pastor Marjorie, I yes. just, you know, from being a vessel that lives with you, I just want to say that you say that you don't have, you know, your bachelor's, and then Pastor Ford, you said, you know, soon to come, but. Sometimes I think this is, you know, what we do as leaders, but you forgot that when you graduated school, you graduated with honors, even right. though it wasn't your bachelor's. When you graduate, you graduated with honors. And you know, life's a process, but you're doing good. Ah, uh, thank you. Casa Ford, you're doing good. Hey, I'm Pastor Ford, and I just want to thank you for coming out and being a part of what God was doing here at Cornerstone. I'll tell you, here at Cornerstone, we're all about the total worship experience. We want you to come in and not only just enjoy the atmosphere, but to receive something from God every time you come in these doors. I tell you, the Total Worship Experience is, is, is a part of our, our, our mission to this community and to the world to let everyone know that come on here, not only just you're going to get a preach word when you come here, but your family will be able to be touched. We're not only just about the total man, which deals with the body, the soul, and the spirit, but we also deal with the total family. That means there's something for every man. There's something Something for every woman and that's something for every child. I encourage you to come back and be with us again in fellowship and I'll tell you God has a word and something special just for you. I encourage you to come. Love you. We'll see you soon.
Hello and welcome to the Total Worship Experience. Here at First Assembly Cornerstone, a place where you and your family can build a solid foundation. If this is your first or second Sunday with us, we are honored and grateful that you chose to fellowship with us today. It is our hope that you would experience the love of Christ this morning and experience our total worship experience. Our ushers will give you a visitor's package. Inside, there is a connect card. We are asking that you would complete that card and return it to them. After service, we're asking you to join us in our reception room for a meet and greet with our leadership staff. Congregation, stand up and turn to, your, to someone that you don't know. Shake their hand and introduce yourself, welcoming them to God's house. And remember, it's all about the kingdom and doing the things that please God. 